Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss most important questions which can be expected in the subject environmental protection and management. I request you everybody to pay the attention of those important questions. If you, I am guaranteeing that you will be getting a positive outcome uh, if you go through all the questions. From module one and two, I have listed a few questions. So you can go through that. These are the most important questions you can expect uh, from module one. Moreover, I prepared an answer key for uh, providing the particular answer, suitable answer for these questions. First of all, I request you to note down uh, these important questions. Now I'll be directly moving on to the answer key. Let us have a brief overview about that particular answer key and you will come to know how to answer it, how to include, what are the valuable points you can include uh, regarding these kind of questions in your answer book. So let me direct you the answer key which I prepared by me. Okay. Yes, I have written the question like explain the abatement of pollution and conservation of resources. So kindly uh, adopt these points like uh, pollution abatement, air pollution abatement, soil, water and energy conservation. So uh, five points you have to include. Each point carries uh, two marks. Two into five is nothing but ten. Okay, like that you can uh, mention. Similarly, explain the environmental impact reduction effort. What are the various efforts uh, from the uh, customer part as well as the company, the organization part? Mainly you have to focus on the organization part. Okay, try to use the energy efficiently, install the renewable energy sources. It is a part of a sustainable development. Then conserve the water, uh, reuse, reduce, recycle concept, re air concept, and uh, try to reduce the travel. Only wherever you want to travel, only important traveling should be done because uh, more emission will be taken place. Unnecessary traveling need to be avoided. Consider, uh, see, near uh, sourcing and ship because the material should be available nearby the plant. So these are the points you can include for the uh, second part, like explain the environmental impact reduction. Okay, so kindly uh, make out these points. Fine, so I have completed this particular part. Okay, yes. Now explain the unique characteristics of environmental problem with the example. I am moving on uh, 2A. So here you have to explain these points. Uh, you can see that. Uh, generic modification of crops cultivation, then water production, population growth, and uh, over overfishing, deforestation, uh, urban sprawl, acid drain, ozone layer depletion. Acid drain, and you can write generally, which you studied in your 10th standard or 12th standard, and ozone layer depletion. You can explain about greenhouse effect, ozone layer depletion, uh, global warming, then ocean acidification. Okay, then eutrophication, uh, then lower biodiversity, uh, then uh, uh, hotspot, okay, creation of hotspot in some areas, uh, extinction of some organ or organism, all those things you can explain, then polar ice cap phenomenon. So all the things you can explain uh, very briefly for question number 2A, explain the unique characteristics of environmental problem. I have highlighted only the point, try to explain with the one or two sentences, that is a lot more sufficient. Uh, you can maintain at least uh, two pages. I told in the previous session also, two minimum two pages you have to maintain with the points. Underline these points. Fine. Answer key, these points will be highly, highlighted. Then enumerate the various uh, drivers and barriers of sustainable development. So this also I discussed in the previous question paper discussion. Anyhow, I am going to uh, uh, show you what are the things you need to mention. Enumerate the various drivers and uh, barriers of sustainable development. You have to mention these points like uh, drivers, if you explain it, you'll be getting five marks. Various barriers like the economic, financial barrier, uh, innovational barrier, social barrier, political barrier. If you mention definitely, you'll be getting another five marks. For first point like uh, environmental, pro, uh, what are the... Uh, the, what are the various bad, bad uh, the drivers? Drivers you can mention like the genetic modification of crops. Okay. So, uh, for example, what are the upgradation? For hybridization of crop will be taken. What are the upgradation in the area of cultivation, agriculture, like uh, like gen uh, gen genetic mo modification of crops, like doing the hybridization, then waste production, uh, population growth, water pollution, all the things you have to mention very clearly. Now I would like to discuss about question number 3A. Write a brief note on effluent and stream standard, then emission and the ambient standard. 5 plus 5, 10 marks you will be getting. 
So try to add these points in your answer book. So please uh, focus on this area. So you have to explain about the municipality wastewater treatment. What are the various waste, wastewater treatments are available? Then uh, emission and ambient standards, you have to include about air pollution standards, various air pollution standards. You have to mention about air quality index. In the recent newspapers, you might have heard about our capital. Uh, like the air quality index is very poor, actually, very low. Okay, so uh, that is one standard. Then restrictions of automobiles regarding the emission. In that, uh, there are installation of catalytic converter is mandatory for the all type of emission. You people are uh, using the automobile, you know, uh, the emission testing. At least one year, every, every year we have to perform the emission testing. In that, there are certain standards, double uh, AQS, uh, N double AQS, and a briefly explanation about these double uh, AQS and N AQS. So I am going to upload the notes at the end of at the end of the session. Kindly go through that. Okay, before uh, entering to the examination, kindly go through that. List out the various points and uh, revise it before entering to the exam hall. Now, question number three B. Explain the mass and the concentration standard. So you have to explain about different type of mass and the concentration standard, such as NM toxicity standard, C60 standard, C60. Okay, uh, carbon 60. Uh, then uh, mass concentration. You need to you have to mention about PPM. Okay, parts per million, parts per billion. Those standards you have to explain very clearly. So only points you have to elaborate, that's all. Question number 4A, uh, explain, uh, explain the briefly about rationales of environmental standards. This is one of the very important questions. Uh, con concentration and mass standard, then effluent and stream standard, emission and ambient standard. So you have to explain about these three standards in brief. Okay, so write a separate, uh, separate subheading and mention it. Similarly, explain the environmental quality objectives. So what are the major environmental quality objectives? So you have to, you have to mention about the four below mentioned points. Look at this. These points you are supposed to mention. So I'm talking about the second question. See, second question I'm focusing. So you have to mention these points. Fine, no? Yeah. So environmental quality objective. I have mentioned different, different points. So, yeah, protect, uh, ozone protection, uh, then uh, safe radiation environment, zero eutrophication. Eutrophication is one of the aquatic phenomena. Okay, the you have to mention about, if you talk about uh, eutrophication, you have to mention about uh, uh, biological oxygen demand, chemical oxygen demand. Those points you have to explain very briefly. Then question number 5A, explain uh, the national policies of uh, abatement of pollution. This is a very important question. So you have to mention about a national environmental policy, NEP. So Ministry of uh, en Environmental and Forestry, MOEF. Abatement of pollution and the conservation of sources like the air, water, all those things you have to mention. Fine. These points has to be added in your answer book. So kindly note down the points and uh, revise it. Then question number 6A. Uh, write the principal set of set out in the business character of sustainable production. Same question I have explained uh, in the question paper discussion. So you need to mention about these valuable points, like uh, for different agencies like the Ministry of Environmental and Forest, MOEF, and uh, Corporate Responsibility Environmental Protection, CREF, because every corporate is having the responsibility to protect the environment because uh, they need to have a good will. As a company point of view, they require public image, they require goodwill, Definitely. So as an environmental point of view, the environment has to be protected. We should go for sustainable development. Fine. Mutual benefit. To be frank, it's a mutual benefit as a management policy. So just like a give and take policy. So these are the points uh, you need to uh, write in a separate paper and uh, it will be useful, I guess. So these are the important questions from module one and two. So kindly go through that. Now I will take you the more important questions from uh, module or uh, three c these are the important uh, questions you can observe from module three uh, so closing loops in industry uh, so how the uh, chemicals how the contaminants will be taken back okay closing loops because uh, you need to maintain uh, we should not discharge the wastewater we should not waste the waste, con waste contaminant to the water bodies how the uh, chemicals how the poisonous material how we can able to track back that you have to explain Briefly about use of clean technology as a part of PMS, clean technology. Explain with the electric vehicle is one of the clean technology. Renewable energy sources is one of the clean technology. Installation of solar panel, 
okay in your building that is one of the green building you can say green building all right so I, I explain with the help of one or two example that is lot more sufficient explain the basic element of pms that a block diagram that a block diagram you can mention similarly iso standards of environmental protection uh, iso 14001 you can explain similarly same question in another manner they asked explain iso 14001 okay fine like that also you can expect in your examination so another thing is uh, with a neat sketch of pollution prevention hierarchy explain the pollution prevention techniques what are the different methods of uh, preventing the pollution 10 marks at least five points you have to write five into two you will be getting uh, then write down the significance of initial environmental review i already referred the uh, explained the same question in the question paper discussion kindly visit that particular uh, link video link it is available in the description box uh, then uh, what are the requirements of initial and external communication so how the communication takes place because every management process communication is very important you have to explain about external communication communication with the stakeholders okay internal communication means uh, generally i'm telling communication among the employees because one company is wanted to uh, wanted to conduct environmental activity definitely there should be a communi internal communication uh, so similarly external communication also there like uh, communication with the uh, stakeholders like customers then vendors then suppliers etc okay uh, whoever related to uh, that particular transaction that is the external stakeholder a internal stakeholder means internal inside the company itself that is a general thing you need to elaborate fine it's a management subject explain the env environmental benchmarking okay benchmarking standard benchmark what is a benchmarking okay for example for emission there is a standard okay that is actually basically called that is basically called the benchmarking then write a brief note on environmental benchmarking and clean technology clean technology is a general topic kindly write about introduction of electric vehicle then installation of solar panel on your uh, house or rooftop uh, then usage of power from wind energy uh, then uh, usage of energy from uh, biomass all the things you can explain in brief okay so talk about renewable energy installation uh, then installation of catalytic converter all the things are actually clean technology all right anyway electric vehicle one of the emerging trends so kindly add electric vehicle and under, write some examples that is great if you do that so i would like to display some question paper or sorry questions related to module 4 and 5 so please go through that enumerate the contents of environmental statement form 5 so write with the help of tables different pa nine parts are available part a part b part c till part 9 explain with the help of table contents all those things that is lot more sufficient to get 10 marks write a uh, note on waste minimization planning that also we have discussed you know it's also a repeated question then uh, write down the process flow diagram of management uh, auditing okay uh, so you have to explain about what is auditing then you have to mention the uh, that hierarchical diagram write a short no, short no non conformity some uh, activity could not achieve in an organization is called as non conformity how to overcome the non conformity rules and qualification of auditor that is also one of the repeated question so minimum what are the basic degree suppose somebody can do after pg plus some certification courses i have enlisted the certification courses in the previous session kindly watch the previous session then explain any 10 applications of ems any 10 application that is also one of the repeated question i have explained in the last time then explain the po uh, pollution prevention opportunities in uh, textile industry so textile industry means uh, you can mention that textile industry uh, will be responsible for one of the water pollution what are the uh, different methods to adopt uh, the protection of uh, environment from the pollu pollutant from the ind uh, textile industry you can mention so i had last session i have discussed about other pa paper and pulp industry so likewise you can mention about the textile industry and uh, discuss the pollution prevention opportunities sugar industry also that is also very important sugar industry okay Similarly, uh, write a short note on transboundary movement because pollution will not be restricted in a particular country or a state. It will spread from one border to another border. That you have to elaborate. Describe the pollution prevention opportunities in electroplating industry. Electro electroplating. So you have to explain. Uh, there are different types of chemicals which is produced from electroplating industry. So you have to mention different process for the water pollution, how it is impacting for air pollution how it is impacting what are the chemicals which are producing after the process of electroplating all right then uh, one of the 
another important question discuss different methods of waste disposal what are the uh, different type of so how the solid waste management that will be adopted that also you have to mention fine these are the important question you can expect from module 5 okay dear students please in the module 5 you can see like applications of ems and waste storage that we already discussed. Similarly, pollution prevention and control in textile industry. You have to explain about uh, the importance of textile industry, uh, the water, what are the sources of water pollution which will be creating from the textile industry, then effect of water pollution, okay, then if impact of air pollution, all the things you have to mention uh, as a uh, come or uh, as a or suppose you are running an organization, what are the thing about how the uh, pollution will be taken place from the corresponding industry. Then what are the measurement taken? Measurement taken against air pollution. At least a few points you have to add. I am not saying that you need to buy hard, but to try to add the few points. Similarly, pulp and paper industry I asked in the previous time. So in this question paper, you can see electroplate, electroplating industry. So uh, you have to mention about what is electroplating and uh, what are the major impact of electroplating industry uh, for creating, for, uh, for reason for the pollution, all those things. Okay, so these are the five. Uh, uh, these are the important questions from five modules which I enlisted. I request everyone to go through each question very seriously and write down the important points before entering to the examination hall. Make sure that you are recalling all the important points. Explanation you can only write, no issue because it's a management subject. I wish you all the very best for your examination. Do do your best. Okay, good luck. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great learning.